and now you go, we go to see how each SIM file is, is done. This SIM file, as we told before, goes in the simulations directory. And uh, each simulation is passed uh, by Java, by the simulation builder, is a read, a read this file. Actually, um, the language in which the simulation file is written originally is Groovy, which is an interpreted language that runs on, on the Java virtual machine. And the syntax is similar to those of C or Java, for who knows those um, programming languages. But in reality, is a subset of Groovy, which is uh, called DSL, Domain, um, Domain Service Language. And uh, it is not even a language for what you concern you, in the sense that there are a few steps you have to accomplish for doing your simulations. They are almost always the same. And uh, just formatted in a, in a certain, in, in a certain way. And the simulation, as you see, are the type I, I told you before, plus there is also a test in the case you want to do unit testing by well, some, um, of some components. But that is more connected to programming the components that use the components. So how a simulation file is made. This is how it, it can appear. You see, it, uh, in, the, in the C type of syntax, um, you use the um, the graph, the, this parenthesis here, the for uh, the uh, for separating the environment. And here you see first external you have the sim environment. The sim environment, the one highlighted by the green here, is blue in my in the original slide, but here it looks like green. Uh, and you have the the simulation and uh, you can give it a name to your simulation the name is supposed to be a string of data and in this case uh, the example of which is uh, which come from the manual of, uh, of OMS you can find the manuals the part of the manual on the blog site if you go in the download you can download it and uh, both the original manual and both the say the manual in parts that I split for your use, and uh, you can uh, you can read it also in uh, is also in EPUB, so you can read in your tablet or your, your phone, cellular phone if you want. And uh, in this case, it's a torn white model in this simulation with an old model for calculating about transpiration that I don't like personally, but. You know, the uh, people who build OMS like don't like, so we have this example. The number of the name is not mandatory to be set, so most of the time you can see seam uh, parentheses, empty, an empty space, for instance, close the parentheses, and, the, and then the brace, left brace. Seam is function. Sim. Sim is here function. Um, the sims, uh, sim here is not a. F it looks like a, a C function, like syntax, but actually is an, um, the definition of, of an environment. Mm -hmm. uh, and you say here the name of the simulation. You can have hit or not having hit. One or zero feet. Inside you have another environment. Externally you have the sim environment. Internally you have the model environment. The model contains actually the name of the class. Uh, here it, it doesn't make a lot of difference because uh, inside the simulation you have just the specification of the model. But uh, this is not a complete simulation file. There are other uh, sub fields that you can have 
that you can add inside the simulation. That's the reason why. In this case, the model that, uh, uh, that, is, uh, that we use is uh, the turn light. And in particular, uh, uh, we have to specify the class name of the, uh, of the model. Uh, in this minimal, yes? If there will be more than one model, we just have to specify more than one class or? No. Only a, a name and then and specify that only the name and then the, the, the models. The inside. models actually are, uh, you will see later. Okay. okay. Here this model has three parameters, which is one is the runoff factor, which is set here to 0 0.5. The green, you have to check the colors. <laughs> the green here the, is uh, the, the, the value, the latitude, because you use the latitude for uh, some uh, uh, radiation calculation in this case. And SCAM cap, don't, tell, don't ask me what is that, uh, that parameter, I don't know. But this is the way that you set the, the single parameter. Obviously, you don't have parameters specified explicitly like here. You, you can have also parameters inside some file. So you have in this particular uh, example, you have a, a, a climate CST, and there is a comma separated value, by, there is a, but and there is a tabulator also, I think, uh, CST. Is a file uh, is, is a ASCII file in which the space are separated by a tab. And uh, um, this climate file has some input data, which mean, meaning the temperature, for instance, of the of the location where you are varying in time. And then you have to specify the output file name, which is in this case just outputs.csv. Uh, inside the model, mm, when we, we will go really to build the models, we will have a reader and a writer that are external to the model. So you have uh, the reader is uh, which the, the, the component that establish which type of input you have, and the, and the writer is establish which type of output you have. And how do you know which parameters has, uh, has a, a one, uh, one component, component? Actually, you have two choices here. Yeah. That's if you want is a, a limitation and, uh, at this point, which is, or you browse the code, the original code, for knowing which parameters a component has, or you have to find uh, to find someone that tells you what is inside. Actually, it's possible through Java commands to know which parameter you are. You can inspect the code, even the, the compiled code, to know which parameter are. But obviously, the inspection of the compiled code through the Java commands that give you the parameter doesn't really explain which the parameter are, what the parameter are. More information you can have in case from the annotations. And you can uh, also uh, potentially, uh, you can have a program that passes the annotation in the code and tells you all this information which is missing. But to my knowledge, we, we never really exploited this, this part. Now we have a new simulation here. This simulation is water tank. I show you before the example of the water tank. This is a little bit more complicated with respect to the, the other one. Uh, you see, we still have the simulation, the sim file externally, which you already saw it. 
In this case, we also have an output strategy. I told you before that we have three output strategies. One that uh, set uh, the output, and uh, in this case, is numbered. Uh, the scheme uses number, meaning that each output is numbered. The first is number the one, the second two, the third one. And you can re-execute the same code with the same parameter several times without overwriting the outputs. Why the standard? The standard is that you overwrite the whole output. Simply. Here there is a model. Like uh, uh, the model is, uh, and uh, you see a command here, while, which is a new entry for the thing, but then we will, when, when we will do it, the example, we will we tell you, the, we will tell you uh, which command, and this command says, while climate more than that, meaning that uh, it goes, actually, is not a, a, a screen here, it is an output file, an input file, sorry, and while there are data in the input file, it, it he does one iteration, one time iteration. So uh, from here you can see that there is a minimal information. It says, oh, the, what is this running this model is supposed to be a time series with time and the data. And while time is going on, there is an execution. Once the, the input data finishes time, you don't, the, the program stop the execution. And uh, we see here we have three main elements that uh, actually are the, I announced them before because you have components, meaning here the, there will be the, the, um, the enumeration of the components you are actually using, connect, which explain how the components are connect each other, and parameter, which, uh, which explain where are the parameter, meaning the file where the data, the, the data are connected and the explicit parameter we have in the model. Before we had only this example here. Components, connects, parameters. All the three are the, the have the braces, and then each brace it uh, close a scope. So let's see now. Let's populate what is inside components, connect, and parameters. You know what it is. Let me see if I wait. Okay. Here is the whole stuff together, and now we go to see each one, each one of the pieces. So, components. This here is the most tricky part, because here you have to know which component, which method, which classes you have inside your component. And as I told you before, uh, there is not a present a magic that tells you out of nowhere which components, which part, uh, uh, which components are inside each, each class. In particular, here we have a, a, a class that you call water tank, and inside there's a, a, a small subcomponent which is called climate. This is the original name made by the, by the programmer, the red one. The programmer decided that this, uh, this model, the water tank, has uh, this component called climate. So what water tank dot climate is a component. But for our use, we just call climate. So the, the name on the left side is just the name we give uh, we give to this uh, component. On the right, we have, you have the, the name inside the code. On the left, you have the name that you use in the following. So the same for out, 
water tank output, there will be an output of to manage the output of the water tank. And the tank, water tank tank, uh, possibly it will be the component that do the calculation how the, the, the water remain and, uh, uh, and flow outside the, the component. Connect. Now we have three components. We can do, if you do randomly, we can do six, six uh, combinations of the components, but uh, uh, actually each one of the components has uh, some input and some output. Uh, uh, rem remind here that we have a, a component that now we call climate, a component that we call out in the, the component that we call tank. So we have climate rain rate is the name of a field of the climate. Uh, you don't know, uh, uh, originally it would be water tank dock climate, uh, capital letter climate dock rain rate. But now the shorter name is climate rain rate. And uh, this, uh, the rain rate goes in, in what? In tank rain rate. Climate rain rate is an output of the, of the class climate. <coughs> climate rain rate is a, an output of the, of the, of the climate class and goes in input to the tank, uh, to the tank rain rate. Both have the same name in this case, but usually they have not the same name. For instance, uh, who pro programmed the tank part to their name is uh, rain. So the output of climate rain rate goes into the tank rain rate. Here, the two, the input and the output, has to have the same, uh, need to have the same, the same structure, the same type of data. If this is not the case, the program doesn't work. But you, there is nothing here that you, you have to know in advance. Uh, then we have the tank volume goes into uh, tank is a product uh, if you remind tank is the the, the class that uh, do the calculations so there is a, a field in the the, the class uh, tank which is called volume another field which is called depth another field which is called velocity mm -hmm. and they have the meaning the volume of the water in the tank the, the depth of the water in the tank the velocity of the water outflowing in the tank and the discharge. And these are the tank volume. These actually, uh, you say, oh, but these are the var variable I need, but <coughs> the program obviously has to pass this variable to, a, uh, to another program that write the outputs to the reader, to the writer, sorry. So, the, the writer here is called out. There is a program called out that is the writer. Uh, this is, uh, can be a little, uh, can sh maybe you say, oh, the, why does it is so complicated? Uh, simply it is complicated because it, it gives it a lot of flexibility. So here you can change having another writer to a different type of format, a different type of, uh, of medium. You can write to a printer, you can write to a screen, you can write to a file, for instance. You can write on, a, on, on some uh, socket and send a message somewhere else. And so here you write volume, depth, and velocity through this thing. Uh, you see also here that there are a, a slash slash and the, um, what is right in green up there, they, those are commands like in C and C++. 
other type of commands with multiple lines can be written as, as in C between slash and the asterisk, enclosed by the slash and the asterisk. So the parameter of the tank, the parameter we have the radius. Actually, the uh, the tank I don't have the the uh, the draw. Oh, let's see. Uh, The tank depth is this one. Depth. So these are the variables of, and then obviously, uh, and the dt is the interval over which we estimate the, the problem every 4,000 seconds. And the output file is simply called output.csv, not particularly. Uh, important. So this is more or less the structure of the SIM file. During these uh, lectures and the, the, during this week you will have to manage a lot of files like this one. So this structure will enter in your mind uh, as a, I don't know what to say, with something that with, with the name of your best friend. Like, this C file will be um, like this. 